Hey there guys, my name's Simon and I work at my local sex store and today I'm bringing you a small review on the HTC One X. I'll give you some extra details near the end of the video regarding the HTC One, uh, HTC One X Plus should you be looking to make a comparison with its older brother. Now the One X is a pretty cool looking phone. It's got a slender body and a sleek design with the camera protruding from the back. If you're worried about the lens, don't. It seems to rest easy on most surfaces where the lens doesn't even get scratched. So let's start with the body of the phone. It's around about 134mm in height, about 70mm in width, and around 9 in depth. 9mm in depth. It's a smooth, lightweight phone and it's easy to handle. The main body is made of a pot with uh, it's, it's made with polycarbonate, giving you that rubbery feeling and grip to it. The resolution displays at 1280 by 720 pixels or 720p HD on a screen around about 4.7 inches displaying at 312 uh, pixels per inch. It's a nice large display so if you're looking to watch YouTube videos or catch up on your old TV series but, haven't, uh, but having to commute uh, between places then this is the perfect tool to do it on. The picture taking on this phone was one of the main selling points of this phone when it first released. It's an 8 megapixel camera with your now standard autofocus and face detection, but it had a feature where you could take multiple shots, up to 20 at a time, just holding down the shutter button so you don't miss a moment. The video records at 1080p at a rate of 24 frames per second with a video stabilization. On top of that, it offers you the ability to take pictures whilst you're recording videos at the same time. Your friend made that just made that silly face while you're recording, quickly snap that picture and it's added to your photo album. The front camera is a 1.3 megapixel camera and records at 720p as well. The phone runs on the operating system of Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich and it is now upgradable to 4.1 Jelly Bean. The processor on the One X was also something that made this phone a huge hit. The Tigra 3 mobile processor by Nvidia makes this phone seemingly fly with the amount of chores and things it has to do uh, whilst running. It runs perfectly smooth. I've had very few experiences of it hanging whenever I give it too much to do. The internet browsing is super quick and makes games run smoothly without hitches. This comes down to the 1.5 GHz quad core processor inside the phone. After switching back to my old phone, I found this one hard to put down. I would really suggest giving it a go and trying out uh, the game Dead Space on it. It also comes with Beats Audio, which helps make all these experiences as well as your music sound amazing. It's a treat to your ears and deserves a try at least once. Whilst we're talking about the hardware subjects, I'll just point out the phone comes with the 1GB of RAM, which is nice to help with the speed of the phone. It also comes with 32GB of internal storage, but at the cost of a media card slot. The phone is sealed. And moving to a similar subject, the battery, this is the downside of the phone. Only being 1800 mAh, this phone seemingly saps the light out, life out of the batteries like there's no tomorrow. It's not replaceable because it's all sealed up inside. You can really feel it as well. Whilst watching videos or playing games, the phone becomes increasingly hotter. Not hot enough to play hot potato with, but hot enough to become uncomfortable and to worry about melting the insides of your phone. Whilst using this for calls only, I managed to make this last around about two and a half days. If I were to browse the internet or to watch a bit of film on it, I struggle to make it last a day and a half. On the plus side, the phone charges really quickly, even whilst you've got apps and other things running. And to round up this quick review, I'll just go into small detail about the One X Plus. So I was telling you before about the One X's processor. The One X Plus comes with a 1.7 GHz quad-core NVIDIA Tigra 3 processor. It also comes with a 64GB of storage in instead of 32. Still, it has no memory card slot. The battery has been increased, but not by a huge amount. It's to your standard 2100 mAh battery cell. Uh, the front camera also comes with a 1.6 megapixel camera instead of the 1.3. And it also comes with Jelly Bean right out of the box, so you don't have to upgrade it to from Ice Cream Sandwich. It comes with Jelly Bean right out of the box. Thank you very much guys for watching this small review. If you're interested in checking out the HTC One X, then check your local sex store for, or go into www.webuy.com and you can check and compare prices on how much we buy or sell the phone for. Or feel free to check your local sex store to which you can get the prices from our helpful staff there. Thank you very much guys for watching this sexy review and I will see you next time, hopefully with a new phone. Cheers, thank you.